everyone, it's Danielle from Cool Science Experiments Headquarters. The experiment today deals with air pressure, and I'm going to show you how air pressure will impact these two ping pong balls. The results are pretty cool, and probably different than you initially would expect. Are you ready? Let's get started. To set up this experiment, you're going to take two ping pong balls, you're going to attach them to a string, and then use that string to hang them so they are about four inches apart and at the same height. So the first step is to take some string and to cut off two equal pieces. Then we're going to secure one end of one of the pieces of the string to the first ping pong ball. And we're using tape to do that. Then we're going to take one end from the second piece of string and secure it to the second ping pong ball. Now that the ping pong balls are secured to one end of the string, we're going to take the opposite end and we are going to hang it or tie it around something. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. So the ping pong balls will hang in the air. We are using a clothes drying rack to secure our ping pong balls too. You could also tape them to a door frame or tie them to a shower rod. The objective is to make sure that the string is securely tightened, that both strings are about four inches apart, and that the ping pong balls hang evenly. So now that we have our two pieces of string secure, let's take a look at how the ping pong balls are hanging and make adjustments if needed. As you can see, our ping pong balls are not hanging evenly. This one is lower than this one. So what you're going to need to do if this happens is adjust the string until you get to the point where they're both hanging evenly. So now that our ping pong balls are hanging at the same level, we're ready to move on to the next step. For the next step of the experiment, you're going to take a drinking straw and you're going to use it to blow air in between the two ping pong balls. You need to make sure that you line yourself up so that, the, that you're at the level with the balls and that you're blowing the air directly in the middle of them. It may take a little trial and some practice to do so before you get it right. Are you ready to try it? As you could see, blowing the air between the two ping pong balls caused them to move together. Do you know why? Leave a comment below to submit your guess, and then visit CoolScienceExperimentsHeadquarters.com to find out the answer. You'll be able to print out instructions for this experiment, and you'll find many more that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. That was fun. Click the button to subscribe. See you next time.